guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to talk about this particular liquid eyeshadow that has tons of glitter and craziness in it. If you are the kind of person who love like a glam everyday look or if you want to go to a party, it is really good. I tried to compare it with another glitter eyeshadow. Still, it is the best. I'm going to talk this high-end eyeshadow right here. And I tried a uh, Korean drugstore eyeshadow. I think it is like almost the same type of glitter eyeshadow. Still, the high end is going to be better than the drugstore one. I loved it, but I can't love it as much as I love this one. Pardon me about this thing right here. I just don't know what to do. My bedroom is like messy and I don't have a background, so. This is a piece of fabric. I put it on like a long clothes hanger. It should like that. And I'm sorry about my hair. I recently love like a messy, messy hair and I just, I can't do anything about it. I loved it, but I think I need to cut my hair though. Okay, back to the eyeshadow. The product is Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow from Stila. Still, I actually have another liquid eyeshadow, which is the shimmer one. I feel like it's too soft. It's like any other liquid eyeshadow, but this one is like super duper glittery. The price is around about 380,000 rupiah. It is 18.75 pounds or $24, if I'm not mistaken. I'm bad at math, so even though I already search the price, I'm also really bad at remembering things. <laughs> so, I just... Uh, back to Stila Glitter Glow Eyeshadow. It has eight shades. The shades are Rose Gold Retro, Kitten Karma, Smoldering Satin, Diamond Dust, Gold Goddess, Bronze Bell, Ballad Baby, and Perlina. Actually, tons of people buy in Kitten Karma because the color is like rose gold color. I don't know what I bought. I forgot. I used it only once ever in my life, and not on my eye, on my client's eye. Because I feel like it's too bold for me, but now I'm going to try it myself so I know how it feels and like, is it going to stay all day? Is it going to have like some kind of fallout? Because even though it is liquid eyeshadow, it still have a fallout. It says that it combines with perfect pearl and glitter with incredible luster and shimmer. Lightweight, it glides on effortly, dries down smoothly, locking in maximum sparkle with minimum fallout. We'll see about that. It also says it's paraben free, paraben is component acid and alcohol, sulfate free which is salt and phthalate free which is a vinyl to make a flexible plastic so it's not good for your face. I actually wanted to try all vegan makeup formula because it's good for your skin and I don't want to have animal testing. Just imagine when you put on your lipstick one cute dogs or rabbits or cat is dying because of it. Ah, as if! That's why we need to stop that kind of thing. It's just hard, you know, beauty community, it's makeup. I'm still confused. This is the Stila that I have. We got 4.5 mil. My color right here is rose gold retro, which is this one is rose gold and the kitten karma is more like a rose gold with a little bit of brownish in it yeah i don't know really love the packaging it looks expensive on the name of the shade itself it has like colorful glitter we're going to open the actual packaging and swatch it on my hand oh my god still come on it's not I'm the stupid one. <laughs> God. Okay, the other side. 
I think this is the travel size one. We're going to open it and swatch it on my hand. It's actually glittery over here, but you just can't see it. Maybe with a flash? Oh yeah, that's better. Look at that. Oh. And today, I'm going to use it and go outside and play and see how the eyeshadow is going to work. So I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow and then finish it with the glitter glow. It's going to be like a natural everyday look. Is I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow. Oh, this is... This is the Marc Jacob Blurring Powder. My boyfriend gave this to me. It's just such a sweet thing. I think I'm just going to put on the eyeshadow off camera and then straight to the still. Now I'm going to apply this on my lid. The applicator itself, I'm not mad about it. It's flat, it's easy to use. It's kind of really hard to use in the inner corner without like getting a little bit messy. It doesn't have fallout, obviously, because it's liquid. But it does have this smear out of the glitter. So I'm going to finish up my look and go out living my day. And then I'll be giving you a review about this Stila Glitter Glow eyeshadow. How it performs, how it looks like throughout the day. I'm going to go back to you with that. Um, I'm actually at my friend's house making another video. But right now I'm going to tell you about the liquid eyeshadow. So I put a second layer on this eyeshadow and only one layer on this side. You can make it more natural by putting only like one layer of it and make it bold if you want and adding another layer it's been around four or five hours and i'll be checking again in a few hours just got home it's around about 12 pm now basically both of the stila liquid eyeshadow still in there so it's basically doesn't move it doesn't have fallout it performed beautifully i really really love it i recommend it for you guys who really want to have one